minimalism. How much can we let go of? You can see, but Ellie is how many weeks old? Thirty-one weeks. We're going our separate ways. I want to stay with you and mummy. You know, when we left Christchurch nearly two years ago, we left a lot of our baby stuff there. So I am just going back to the, well, all of it. So I'm going back to Christchurch to pick up the storage we left down there. Let's cut our tires with Christchurch. Greetings from Christchurch. Uh, it is about 11.15 at night, uh, mid-November 2018. Wow. I'm in the garage of uh, some friends of mine who have done us a huge favour. and uh, It's even huger than I initially anticipated. Um, we recently sold and settled on our house and this all happened while we were away and uh, these good friends kindly emptied our loft space which was still full of a lot of our possessions which when we left Christchurch two years ago we pretty much to the week we left Christchurch two years ago and we loaded up a one-way trailer and and headed north to a, to a new life that we had no idea what, what was coming. We filled up that trailer to the hill and a lot of that stuff is in storage up in the North Island. And we shoved what we couldn't decide on at the time uh, into the lost space. And time has dwindled my memory. And tonight I discovered uh, how much it dwindled my memory and how much we stuffed into the loft. So I'm recording this uh, after the event uh, because for the last couple of hours I have taken this huge pile and that I'm still sort of shocked that we kept this much stuff. And uh, Royden has kindly taken out of his loft uh, so out of our loft and taking it to his garage um, I have a people mover outside uh, and in the morning I need to load this vehicle and head north towards towards the girls uh, I was not expecting quite what I've seen so so I'm gonna record uh, what I've done a bit of time lapse and a bit of commentary on getting the pile down so so I'm just recording this really to sort of put that into context. So uh, I will let you let you see what yeah what I've done. I don't suppose this will be particularly entertaining, but um, this is clearing out minimalism. How much can we let go? Of? This is what I've got to still get rid of after already clearing quite a significant pile. I am quite gobsmacked by how much we left behind. Yeah, I've cleared out all of what was in that space there and it is now over here in a variety of piles. And there's some stuff we will uh, 
clearly give away, which is kind of sitting in this middle. That's a cot that belongs to some friends of ours who have given us permission to dispose of it. Garden and kitchen stuff that has no further use, there's a, but there's also like a radio that I've carried around for years, a microwave. And over here is stuff that I think I am taking back. So we'll look at that in a bit more detail in a minute. This is quietly building up. I'm very grateful that Royden and Saskia have already made it, give me a clear um, offer that they're very happy for me to leave stuff here and they will dispose of it. There's a huge sense of relief that I haven't got to deal with all of this. The next job is just to get stuck into that pile which is way bigger than I, I can't believe we had all this in the loft. Okay, let's get on. These are old four, uh, 12 inch records that I've never really played a lot apart from a small period in my life. But these are heavy, but um, these are something that I probably am going to keep. But when I wake up in the morning, I might have second thoughts. There's even a box down here, I'm not even sure if it's ours. Based on where it was, because all this stuff down here, uh, all those boxes on these shelves, they were. Oh, I take that back. I was looking for all the writing, but it was on the bottom. Baby, toddler stuff, nappies, cot, underlay, girl, clothes, box from the last two years. So that's coming with me. Just been joined by the cat. Records. Uh, seven inch singles. I don't know. The, the, that's probably about the only nostalgia. The jam live. Come on up. Get yourself together. The Great Depression, but I'm different. Yeah, and man, I haven't seen any of this stuff forever. Beat Surrender, one of their last singles before they split up, if not the last. Patty Austin, James Ingram, Baby Come To Me. Wow. Photos and frame photos. Yeah, that's got history, and that definitely gonna want to keep. That is a working DVD recorder. I don't think anyone's going to want that, but that's one thing. So, uh, this is kitchen frying pans and what. So, there's a lot of boxes down here that are kitchen boxes. Taylor Toys and Books will take that. And these tax records. Just organic clothes and expo stuff. The turning point in our life that all went wrong. And didn't to fruition so ah, do I give that to Royden and Saskia or do I have a ceremonial burning of this one to sleep on for the morning this one says souvenir shirts and hats so this is someone I've been carrying around for a long while and I've got a kid this is languages and other home school resources yeah do we really want it and gives them another question mm. one to sleep on these babies are heavy, Ellie's photo albums, but yeah, this falls into the uh, personal possessions. This is a um, new US souvenirs box, so this dates back to my 1989-90 um, trip to the USA, and I've kept a lot of um, souvenirs to remind me of that. There was a lot of photos, but I must have put them somewhere else. Personal memoirs to keep that. This is a heavy one, it's books. A lot of personal development books has got like sticky things sticking out of them and all sorts but you know if I turn up with this I've only got to dispose of it so I'll sleep on it. Bingo! This is what Ellie wants. Maternity tops. Uh, yeah just personal memories. This one says 2004 around the world mementos. So this is my gathering of my life just before I come to New Zealand and what I was going through that made me, yeah, led to my my journey as a New Zealand citizen. So personal mementos box, so another one. It'll come. Photo albums. These go back to my early 20s, maybe even my late teens. So personal. That's coming. Heavy books, 
personal development. Gonna have to sleep on this one. Some more books. Oh, heavy. All personal development stuff in the United World. This would all be in a library, our library, and maybe we would show these to Ayla and I don't know. But yeah, by the time she's ready to read this stuff, yeah. I just pulled this one out because uh, coincidentally it was lying on the top of the book it's called Yes You Can. And it's written by our friend Jen here. Yeah. Big mutual friend as well. And I just saw Jen today. Yeah, one of the few people I've seen Christchurch. So, keep that out and maybe take that with me, maybe read it again. The rest, what we got to go in that pile of maybe. Alright, let's just switch the remainder of that record box. This box has got a broken lid. 12 inch records. I can't even read that without the glasses. Holiday wrap. This is 1980s XLF. Harold Fordermeyer. This is from the original Beverly Hills Cop, I think. Bruce Willis. He's an idol of mine when I was much younger. School books. I think I keep hold of these to maybe show Ayla one day. And, and Bubs, but. Hmm. It says Collins framed photos and trophies. So, yeah, maybe some personal mementos of mine from a long while ago, but yeah. Keep hold of those. So these sorts of things, children's annuals, but yeah, fond nostalgic memories, but I think this is not coming. Okay, nearly there, three more boxes. This is another kitchen one, juice of tea towels. There's plates and bowls, chili bucket, colanders and graters. Last one, it says kitchen, lesser used, lesser used plates, spare sharp knives, fondue set, microwave platter, water and bowls, and two times baby bottles, plus a few towels for the Last box. Ta da! Alright, I've just emptied this space. Done anything with it except move it all over there. Uh, now I've got to attack it again. So all that carpet space was filled up, and even those two shelf spaces down the bottom had our boxes. And that is now all over there. So this pile here, you can see how we labeled things up is memories. So I'd say all of those boxes there. That says children's books, but I don't think it is. Oh yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, but with the, with the exception of that children's book, all the rest is kitchen stuff. Um, there's some bed in there, microwave. Um, those are tools for the shed. Those are just plastic containers that are storage. So this is kind of just some, there's a few odds and ends. There's like a bin and a clock and some scales actually they came from our business these are just storage units um, my friends have told me that they absolutely love these boxes these are original port boxes that I've hauled around for over 30 years from my time in Jersey so there's a little bit of you know, history there and and I don't know she spotted those and, and it's like I want those so she's gonna do something with those vacuum cleaner good old Kirby yeah we're not these are the things that it's easy for me to say, no, we don't want. Um, I think there's bedding in there. But, uh, so th this pile here, this is the pile of maybe. Now, most of that is books, I think. Um, a lot of personal development books. And um, this box is interesting because we kept hold of our Just Organic stuff we definitely don't want that but i don't know if i should ask anyone else to get rid of it it's a part of me like just going to have a ceremonial burning the cot belongs to our friends but they've given us permission to um get pass it on the rocking horse belongs to the friends that i've been staying with the last few nights and they are mutual friends of um, the 
friends I'm staying with tonight, so we'll get that back to them. So this pile here, and all this here, this has got to go back to Gisborne. And even that, that right, I mean, I would say that most of that pile there is baby stuff. And this pile here, that is more personal belongings that I, Ellie and I uh, want to keep, you know, um, photos and mementos from our past that yeah, both of us are not ready to, to um, get rid of. So, yeah. So, bearing in mind how late it is, I think I need to go to bed, wake up early, see what I can get in the people mover. See how Royden and Saskia feel about disposing of most of this stuff over here and this pile and uh, make a plan in the morning. That's an old stereo I took off a mate you know, back in the 80s and that's followed me around. Uh, but yeah, it's time to say goodbye to some of this stuff. Um, They've already let me know that they, you know, they would take it to Nurse Maud and some fundraisers, and they can put it on Trade Me instead of me and Ellie putting it on Trade Me. So, so yeah, do I spend all this time trying to raise a few extra dollars, or do I just move on? Have a look in the morning, eh? There she blows. It's now just the alarm went at 5.30. It's time to fill up this baby. It's my people carrier. And this is going to have to get me to Auckland and find a home for all that stuff. Mm. 5.30 in the morning. Uh, yeah, just a major packing job. Let's get on with it, eh? see what we left out in the garage. Pile hasn't got any smaller. I don't know that I did any quality thinking overnight. I've got to get this into the van. We are in a large garage by the way and over there is where the garage door should be. But Lloyd and, and Saskia decided to block it up and make this their internal craft room, which I love. Royden's a musician, they're very creative people. They're out the back door here. Open this door. And we'll go down the side. Just walk through a cobweb. And there we go. Get this bin out of the way. Let's go do it.
So basically, uh, main boxes are in there. This is what's left. That's got to be squeezed into there and obviously safely into this space here. And actually, it's going to go. Yeah, it's not going to be any problem getting that lot in, to be honest. That's going to be pretty easy um, now that it's all out here. But I'm just left with the dilemma of do I take those books? I'm left with those books sort of shape my thinking or part of my personal development journey. Um, yeah, I'm quite managed to talk myself into letting go of all of them, but gathering dust and they, they could be read by many other people. So I need to ponder that one a little bit. Touch base with Ellie and uh, there was only one extra thing she wanted. <coughs> which was a, a juicer, which we'll make use of um, while we are in Gisborne. Uh, but yeah, so I haven't fully loaded. Uh, there's my backpack. Yeah, one extra box, bit of baby stuff. Still plenty of room in the front. It's just my traveling stuff, so. Looking good. So I've got to get this baby up to Picton uh, in the next seven hours. It's going to be pretty comfortable, plenty of space. I haven't packed it out too much, and um, yeah, look, looking good. So let's get this show on the road. So I'm very grateful to uh, my friends who have said they will keep all of this stuff and dispose of it amongst their friends and family, or via trade me and uh, and. Um, or to the city mission or some local charity. So it's all gonna be used. That's the most important thing. It's all gonna be used. As long as it's gonna be used, we don't mind leaving it behind. Here I am on the uh, Welling uh, the Picton Wellington Ferry. Just had a bite to eat and caught up with Ellie. And yeah, last got a bit of nice peacefulness. That's just beautiful in the background over there. The sun's going down, lovely spot. The sea out there is uh, why blue open yonder space? And I guess that's a bit like life, really. It's why blue open space. And that's what we're sailing into, the unknown. Yeah, of course, I do know what's on the other side. There's Wellington Harbour. I'm looking forward to getting there and staying with Ellie's family overnight and then head home. But yeah, I've put two days of appointments behind me, which I haven't done for a long while, and I'm not used to that sort of deadline and stuff so it's pretty cool to just be hitting the open road and the open sea so uh, enjoying this okay I've run out I'm gonna go and get warm and uh, go and check out my new camera okay I run out bye